Welcome back to Tom's Garage again. What is happening, everybody? Today, today we are working on a. I picked up another Toro. Pa pow! This one's a little different than the other recyclers I've been working on and fixing up. This one is. Ah, uh, this is my favorite one. Personal pace. Personal pace. This one has got the 150cc Briggs engine. Ah, and it's a rear wheel drive. I like this little mower. I'm gonna try to get it all spippied up and serviced up. And this one uh, has been sitting for a while. It won't crank, so I may have to clean the carburetor. I believe that's all it's gonna be. And the self-propel don't work. This little personal pace right there so something is going on with this thing I think it may just need to be adjusted we'll check the belt and everything and see yeah I think it just needs to be adjusted yep, 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 yep. so let's get busy well, let's see, the first thing I'm gonna do is check the oil roll in it. Yeah. Ooh, boy, this thing is crusty. Wow. Yeah, it's full, but it sure is nasty looking. Nasty, nasty. We're gonna get it running first. Get that oil warm so it'll flow out, capture all them little contaminants. And, uh, Pour the oil out, then we're gonna check it. Uh oh, I just threw my grease rag away. Get around and then we're gonna see what's going on with the with the personal pace self-propel mechanism. Mechanism. It smells like that fresh fuel in it, but I ain't gonna trust that. Oh, let me turn some more lights on. Let's see the condition of the air in our flitter. Oh, brand new air filter. Look at that. Yeah. It's got a new spark plug, looks like in it too. Well, man, this thing's crusty. Crusty the lawnmower. Okay, let me get to the screws. Oh, God, that was loud. Here. We'll pull this cover off. Pull the cover off. We'll pull it off. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Out of there, a little clip. These things can get aggravating sometimes. Sometimes they can get aggravating more. You can just slap it like that and it'll come off for you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's grab some tools. I need to make sure this one don't have a flippy in it too. A little nest built in it. <laughs> yep, sure does. It's got another big nest in it right there. Mmm, look at that. Get you some of that, boy. Ugh. Golly. Mmm. Mmm. Let me grab me a screwdriver and I can dig that stuff out. I don't want to just I don't want to just blow it all over the shop. I just want to kind of get it out of that engine right here. There. There. And it's all down inside the between the muffler and Wow. Wow. 
Oh, I cleaned it out about as much as I can. Now we'll hit it with a little air. Hit it with a little air. Give it a... At the end of every day, I have to, I hear work and I have to take my little leaf blower and blow the shop out. It gets covered in stuff. Get my hose to wrap up. All right. All right. Let me roll this thing forward a little bit, get it a little get closer under that light. I've got a dark spot right here ever since I hung that go-kart up there you know a million dark spots i'll just add another light fixture yep, yep, yep. that's an eight millimeter and we'll swap it out to a seven millimeter Seven millimeter. Get this off there. Mm. 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 Don't bend the truck cleaver. Set that aside. Don't lose this and this. Come out of there. This little thing here just flying. Okay. Now we'll go over here to the workbench. Dump all this out, clean the fuel tank, and clean the carburetor. Clean the little carburetor. Let me clear out the work spot. Pile everything where I need to work. This thing here holds a lot of gas. Oh boy, look how nasty and cloudy that is. That's gonna be full of water. I believe it is. Man. So dirty. So dirty. I'm gonna set this fuel aside over there and let it separate for a little while and then we can see what's in it. It's kind of hard to see what's in it yet. You see how cloudy it is? That's got a bunch of water in it, I'm afraid. We'll set it over here for a little while and let it separate while we finish. And this is where I usually knock everything off the workbench. That has got a lot of water in it. Don't know how well you can see that. But... It's like panning for water. Yeah, you can see a lot of water in it. Lots and lots of water. Well, that's why she went. Well, this tank has just got crud in it. desk light on. Yeah, you can see how much crud's in that bottom of that tank. It's just completely, completely nasty. So let me go around behind the camera here and grab the air hose and blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out.
she's nice and clean now. Gas cap, so Cut my fingers over the openings. Yeah, you can see the crud inside of that. Ready, ready. That must be why it had a new air filter. That other one was probably caked. See what's going on inside of it. Yeah, you can see where I just turned it over and it leaked out. All this is water. All that water. Yep, I can see water in the bottom of it. Yeah. Look at all that water. Wow. Wow. Let me hit pause one second. All righty. Yeah, you can see how the water has separated in here. There's the line. Everything under there is water. Wow. Agua. They don't run on water. It's probably been sitting outside somewhere. Nice and clean. Give it a little puff of air. Now, We'll clean the main jet in this bad boy. Get the screwdriver under it. Right there. And just walk it up. Mm. It usually clogs right there and right there. It looks open though. Yeah, that's clear. Just had a little water in it. Don't blow too hard in this right here because it'll pop that thing right there out. That jet and it'll, you'll ruin it. Ruin. And while you have this out, make sure that white piece right there doesn't move because that is what holds that in. And it didn't move, that's good. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Make sure this goes all the way down. You can see the where it's supposed to go. Just give it a little twist back in shape. Yep, that's all the way down. 
Put the two little screws back in. All right. All right. Gas tank is clean. Carburetor's clean. Now we put the fuel line back on it. Let's see, this one goes in, the governor linkage goes in first. And then we'll pop the choke linkage in. Don't bend it. And one thing I forgot to do, I haven't done yet. The whole ring and then the keeper goes in there. In the carburetor. Make sure that's seated all the way down. And then it pops in there like that. Just like that. All the way on the intake. Pop the fuel tank back on. That is supposed to go all the way on there, but it's all stretched out. Oh, the, yeah. Here. There it goes. Let me put some fuel in it. Boy, it sure is quiet around here. I don't hear no planes and trains and screaming kids and loud stereos. All right, let's grab the cover. Hear no loud mufflers. I don't tighten them until I get at least two in. Well, you know it's land up. Now we gotta get this little clip thing right here to go in that square hole down yonder. There we go. All right. Put the two little screws back in there. in plastic. That'll be good. Got the little screws. Well, I put the cover back on first. Can't believe y'all didn't warn me about that. Make sure the vent hose goes back on. All the way. These two eight millimeter screws go on the outside. They go into metal. And then the two seven millimeters that go on the inside right there, they're going into plastic in the carburetor. And be very gentle. We're going into plastic. Good. When I go into plastic, I try to, try to stop before this thing pops. 
hammered. That way I know it's not over tight. All right, that carburetor ought to be full by now. Let's lower this bower down. I leave anything on the table except for that mess I made. Make sure that jump mechanism's working, it is. All right, here we go, we're just gonna make a mess. See the self propeller still ain't working. I took a peek at that belt. It, from what I could tell, it looked okay. I just thought it might just need an adjusting, but obviously it's gonna need something more than adjusting. So we're gonna flip this thing over, drain the oil, and work on that. Check that belt out. It's almost acting like it come off the pulley on the engine. We're gonna pull this cover off, and we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Okay. At least we got it running good. Yep, yep, yep. Let me grab my 38s and we'll pull that, pull that screw out of the cover so we can expose the belt completely. You got two screws there. And it goes into plastic. I remember right, you only got two screws. Let me get my oil pan ready. Two screws was holding this on. And I believe that's the only screws that had on here. Yeah, that belt. Oh, let's pop this blade off. I gotta sharpen it anyway. Come out of there, boy. There we go. 
You gotta get it past that lip right there. Yeah, that belt is horrible shape. Horrible. Horrible. So now what we're gonna have to do is unhook this spring, put this thing around. It's gonna be a bugger to get to because we've got to get this cover off of it because that cover acts as a cover for the belt so the belt don't come off. And I can see a piece of the belt right there. Bad little belt. Let me grab Brandon's tool and see if it'll. Thank you, Brandon. In case we have to take that thing off, let me grab my wrench and put a bunch of slack back in it. Put a bunch of slag back in it. I unhooked this cable from the end of the hanging bars up there. So that way we can get some slack. Get a bunch of slack. There we go. Just take this off. I'm afraid that we're going to end up having to take this off. Yep. Unbelievable we are. Is this going to have to allow this transmission to rotate completely around I'm afraid maybe I got lucky on the Honda one time was able to get it off without having to pull that off but you can't do that not on this one huh. you gotta get that cover off get this little thing here out of the way See how it's hitting right there. Pile, pile, pile. So we're gonna have to pull this off, which ain't a terrible job. Oh well. Well, to do that, we gotta pull the wheels off. The oil is done draining. Gas cap's leaking a little bit. I'd leak too if I was laying upside down. Yeah. I just lost the blade adapter. I heard it fall back off. Let me get this oil out of the way. had a 4x4, four four. there it is. Now we'll grab a half inch socket. Hold the back wheel off. Yeah, to get to these two screws here that holds that baffle on there, you gotta pull the wheel off. And then you gotta, one more right there, one little screw right there. And that's how you pull the baffle off, just so you can twist that transmission around to get that cover off the pulley. So far, so good. Take 
these two screws up. And then we'll come around here. Take these two screws off. Get a jack stand. I'm not going to lay this thing all the way back over like I have because the gas cap's leaking. So what I'm going to do is just tip it like this. Yeah, we gotta get this cover off, and it's a square head, I think, or is it a T15? I don't know. I think Hondas are usually square head drives, and the Toro uses the T15 or 20s. Where did it go? Yeah, it is the half, it's the square drives. I had it. Ooh, backwards. You got one there, and we'll go ahead and just tip it on over. Just tip it on over and let it dribble, I don't care. one of these. Make sure I got the right size. I think my square drive bit's just getting wore out. Oop, nope. Make another bit. You can see the end of that one right there is getting getting kind of worn. It's a S number two. If I can get this on line out of the holder. Nice fresh one, ain't never been used. This thing's making all that too. Yeah, look at that belt. It, it had come off the pulley, but it couldn't come completely off because of this, and it just got wedged up in there and just burnt. And that's what it was. Oh, let's see. It is a, still have a part number eligible. Nope. Nope. But I believe I've got one. Right there. Let me grab my little belt hook. Reach up there and grab one. Oh. Now we'll see if this is the same size. See if this is the same size. Nope, that one's a lot longer. You may not have one. Let me look. Well, I might have grabbed the wrong one. No, it's a Honda. I can tell by the part number that one's for a Honda. 
I'm in the Honda section. I need to move over here to the Toro section. Where'd you go? There we go. Toro. Yep, 110.94.29. But Ellie, I believe it doesn't work, although it looks like it's shorter. I believe this belt right here is just really, really stretched. We'll see if this one will work. You've got a lot of adjusting you can do back and forth. You know? I believe that belt right there is just stretched. Hmm. I do. Let me make sure this is a number two. Oh yeah, it's number two. We got a little extension. Yeah. That'll make it easier to get to. Well, fall off, I don't care. That big old clog of dirt right there. Let's see, she's gonna go just like that. And I can just smell the gas dripping out of this thing. I can smell it. And be very careful because this is plastic too. Everything's plastic. that's going to be the right belt. That thing is acting way too tight. No. No. That's not going to be it. What did I do with the... Yeah, I see. You still got to go over that. That's going to be way too tight. This thing ain't never going to stop pulling. Yeah, that's the wrong belt. I'll have to order a new belt. I don't have one. That belt is not for a personal pace. That one is for a regular front-wheel drive I'm just too lazy to look up the correct part number. The key rack part number. Yeah, that's gonna be the wrong belt. I wish you could still see the part number on that one. Now I gotta go over and look it up and see what the part number is. Mm. Let's take a gander up here again in the Toro section. I think all those are the same part number. 9429. I don't have one. Nope. Not a Toro. Well, we're going to pause the old video and order a belt. Y'all hang with. Ha ha. Look what I found. <laughs> Digging around in some more Honda belts and I found this one. This one's the same exact length. Same width, same everything. I'm gonna use this Honda belt. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody I did that. You're a terrible person. You're a terrible person. Man, it is so cold. Eh? I'm just, God, I'm shivering. Shivering. Let's see, it's got to go that way, that way. Nope.
Don't pull out a little screw. Yeah, we'll see how this Honda belt goes on here. I bet it works perfectly. See that? Look at there what I just did. Look at that. That would have burnt that belt up. Nothing flat. There we go. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff. adjust it and finish that after I get done here. Okay. Well, I didn't turn the light back on. Okay. A little stick stuck in there. Okay, now let's get the covers back on. What about it with the belt guard? I'm gonna put the belt guard on there first because that's gotta go over over that. But to do that I gotta get on the other side and put the screws in it and get it started. Let's see. Let's go right there. Make sure the belt goes inside like it should. Now, if I can hold it right there and I can get these screws started. Get my tools ready. All right. That one goes there. And this one goes there. Be easy with it. It is plastic. Okay. That is good to go over that. More dirt. Come on, little bugger. Just get past this, we'll be good. Yeah, I don't think I should have put that back on first. I don't think I should have. Now I gotta get past that little lip right there. No, I don't think I should have put that back on first. Let me loosen it. I'm just gonna loosen it. I ain't gonna take the screws out of it. Monkeying with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. 
Now I put the screws back in. Back here. Okay, now we can get the screws back in this. I'll do it all of them. <laughs> Easy greasy. All right, now we got that. I'm gonna put this wheel back on. I don't know why I'm reaching so far over there for it. I think it's it yeah. That washer over here goes right inside there like that. And that goes right in there like that. Oh. All right, there's that. I'm gonna hit pause real quick. I'm gonna sharpen this blade and I'm gonna slap the blade back on it. Hang loose. Alrighty. Got the blade nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. Okay, I'll put these two screws in there and put the wheel back on. Put the Earl in it, fire it up, and adjust it. Fire it up and adjust it. Where'd the wheel go? Well, I gotta put these screws in before I put the wheel on. Plastic, if you'll just sit right there while I get this back on, well, I'll be in a better mood. Okay. Another long, drawn out Tom Bobby video. I think I'm gonna have to use a funnel on that one. Use a funnel. Just to make sure she is empty. Nothing. Nothing on the dipstick. I will stop it right there. 
out there. Check it. I've been known to let my mind wander and put way too much in it. I don't like wasting oil. I'm gonna give that a minute to settle down. We're gonna give this thing a good cleaning too. This thing is crusty. I bet all the fuel dripped out of it. It's all right. Let's see where we are. I put way too much oil in this thing. Eh, look at that, I put twice as much as I told you. Sometimes you just don't pay attention. Now I gotta waste oil. Well, yep. I'm usually pretty good at doing this, but sometimes you make a mistake. Pour some out. See it going bye bye. Go well. Yeah, it's probably a quarter of a quart. Eh, not that much. Give that another minute to settle down. And that is perfect. Look there. The pile. Check it again. Check it again. And it's perfect. Okay. I'm gonna lower this table down. Might have to put some more gas in it, but. Okay, grab my seven six tanks. I'm gonna do this over here. I'm not cranking this thing in here with all this debris everywhere. Right now here. Yeah. the belt worked I gotta put the air filter back in it but there we go we're gonna have another one ready to go I'm gonna clean this one up real good all right boys and girls I thank you for watching the video again I got a big old mess to clean up got another Toro serviced up ready to go and I'm ready to go too Love you boys and girls for watching the video, man. I will catch you guys on the next one. Love y'all.